Would you like a simple and easy way to use selling options to generate a safe and consistent retirement income right now? This is a trade that only takes a few minutes every couple months that gives you a lot of freedom to do whatever you want in retirement while also giving you consistent income. Now typically, I like to sell options that expire anywhere from 20 to 50 days out. But another strategy I like to use from time to time is to sell longer expiration options. These are options that expire in over a year. They're also known as leaps options. Selling leaps or longer term put options against stock you feel comfortable owning is a great way to generate consistent cash flow. And with them being longer term options, you don't have to trade them as often as if you were selling weekly or monthly options. This greatly frees up the time you'd have available to enjoy your retirement while also consistently putting cash flow into your pocket every year. Here you see on the screen one of the stocks I like to trade options in, and that's AMGN or Amgen. This spreadsheet shows the trades we've done about over the past two years. Now, most of the options I've been selling against Amgen or shorter dated options are the ones that expire anywhere from 20 to 50 days out. But I want to share with you the details of this leaps or longer term put option that we sold against Amgen several months back. In the yellow row here, you see that on June 14th of 2023, we sold the June 21st of 2024 $180 cash secured put option. That option expired just a little over a year from the date that I sold it. For that option, we pocketed $6.38 per share. Now that $6.38 per share that we received for selling this put option, it may or may not sound good to you based on it being a longer term option. But remember I mentioned this is a safe trade. I'm going to show you how safe this was in just a minute by sharing the chart with you. So we received $6.38 per share for this position. Well, over the next couple of months, Amgen went up in price. And on August 8th, a little less than two months later, we were able to buy this option back to close the position out for $2.16 per share. Let me show you why I say this is a safe way to generate consistent cash flow. Here you see the daily chart of Amgen. And where the box is, that's the time period that we were in this trade. We sold the put option on June 14th, and just under two months later, on August 9th, we bought that put option back to close the position out. Now I've switched over to the weekly chart of Amgen. And when we sold that cash care put option that expired in about 12 months, Amgen was trading for around $222 per share. But remember, we sold the $180 cash care put option. That's way down here where this white line is. In fact, if you notice here, that put option we sold was over 18% out of the money from where Amgen was trading at when we sold that put option. So we sold a put option that was almost 20% out of the money and still pocketed $6.38 per share. Now since one contract equals 100 shares worth, we pocketed $638 minus commission. As you see on the far right, we're in this trade for 56 days. Our net profit was $429.59 per share. And theoretically, we had $18,000 at risk if the shares were assigned to us and Amgen went to zero dollars. However, that's not the whole story. Now let's move on to the line just below the yellow one, this light blue shaded line, because as you're going to see, I didn't have $18,000 at risk. On that same day that we sold that put option that expired in a year, we also bought a put option to give us protection just in case Amgen went way down in price. So we bought that same expiration day, June of 2024, which expired in a year, and we bought the 110 put option. That stopped our potential loss if Amgen were to go way down in price. Yes, we would potentially lose about $70 per share minus the $6 that we had received, but it still capped our potential loss at $70 per share or $7,000 for this one contract. And that insurance, it only cost us 37 cents per share or $37 plus commission. So we pocketed $420 minus the cost that protected put option and we only had $7,000 at risk. And actually, since we received that $420 up front, we had less than $6,600 at risk. Now, if you wanted to stop there, you could. You could simply sell some longer term put options, collect that nice premium, make sure they're pretty far out of the money to give yourself some cushion in case the position goes against you. Then once the value of that put option you sold declines, you can always buy it back to close it out and enter a new position in a new company. However, that's not where we stop. And here's where you can kind of tweak selling these longer term put options to generate potentially explosive returns. So I told you about the put option that we sold and the put option we bought to give us some protection but we did something else on June 14th to juice up our returns. Back on June 14th, I felt pretty bullish about Amgen. It looked like it was trying to find a bottom. It would possibly go up in price and possibly do it pretty quickly. As you see, that's exactly what it did. In fact, it went up over 16% over the next few months. Because I was fairly bullish on Amgen, I decided to take some of that $6.38 per share that I received for selling that put option and buy a long-term call option at that same expiration day, June of 24, that expired just over a year from now, and I bought the $270 call option. That call option cost me $5.61 per share. So it was more than paid for by the put option that I sold. Well, about two months later, after Amgen had gone up in price almost 16%, I bought to close that put option that I sold 
and I paid for it by selling a call option against the long-term or leaps call option that I'd initially bought. So I sold the $300 strike price call option that expired on that same day, June of 2024. For that, we were paid $7.57 per share. And that more than paid for the cost of buying to close that put option, which was $2.16 per share. So our risk was off the table. We no longer were short the cash secure put option that expired in about a year. And we had locked in a profit on that call option that we bought because of the credit we received by selling that $300 strike price call option. Well, how did it turn out? About a week later, I began to feel like MJ, it might be topping out. So I decided to just go ahead and close this position out. So the $300 call option that we sold will cost us a few more cents to buy it back than what we had received. But notice the profit on the leaps call option that we bought when we were into this position back in June. We ended up with a $1,265 profit on that call option. The strategy that I used here with this Amgen trade is known as a risk reversal. If you'd like some more information on how to use risk reversals to potentially generate awesome cash flow returns, I'll leave a video at the link above and down in the description below you can check out when you're done with this video. As you've seen this video, selling put options that are far out of the money and stocks that you feel comfortable owning if it came to that is a great way to safely generate consistent cash flow in your retirement. Yes, there's always the risk the stock could go way down in price, you end up having to buy the stock at the strike price of the put option you sold, but there are many ways to adjust put options that have gone against you. In fact, I have a whole video series dedicated to how to repair positions that have gone against you. But you always want to be prepared financially and mentally for the possibility that a stock may go against the cash your put option that you sold, even if it does expire in over than a year. I do on occasion sell some longer term leaps options. I think they're a great way to generate consistent cash flow without having to do much work. The benefits of selling leaps options is that you don't have to do very many trades a year to have a nice consistent income. You can also sell those options pretty far out of the money or pretty far away from the stocks trading at, which makes it a lot safer trade for you. The downside is that you're not really letting time decay do its thing. With shorter dated options, a lot of the value of out of the money options is what's called theta or time decay. So the value of those options, they deteriorate really fast over time. For example, here you see a trade we did several weeks back in ELV. We sold the December 15th ELV, $420 cash care put option, in pocket at $3.80 per share. Well, just three weeks later, which was actually yesterday, I bought this put option back for only 35 cents per share. Now, part of that was due to time decay, but also because the stock went our way. Selling shorter term options, once that expire in about 20 to 50 days, actually when you do that, time decay really works in your favor as you saw here with this ELV trade. But if you want simple, safe, and easy, or something that doesn't require a lot of time but can consistently put income in your pocket, selling leaps put options might be something you want to consider. Like to get an alert when we do trades, like the ELV trade I showed here, or the Amgen trade I shared in this video, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how you can sell options in just one stock, the ticker symbol SPY, which is the S&P 500, to potentially retire early. Check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled, How to Retire with Only $250,000 Using the Option Wheel Strategy. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.